in the northeast uh, or in other areas where uh, extra uh, tight measures have been brought in, you should follow the guidance of, of, uh, of local authorities. Uh, uh, but uh, it's, it's, uh, it's six in, in, in a home, six in, in hospitality, but uh, as I understand it, not six outside. What's up, YouTube? Um, hello. So, Alan Partridge. Um, I've reacted to anything that Alan Partridge has done. Uh, he, I do know he's not a real person. Uh, it's Steve Coogan. Uh, but uh, Alan Partridge is so um, real, almost, um, in sort of modern society, modern Britain especially, I don't know about the rest of the world, uh, he's almost like uh, a sort of mad uncle that we all know. Um, and uh, I have a special affection for uh, Alan Partridge um, because uh, I often find myself feeling a bit like him uh, for lots of reasons. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to react to this. This is from... Uh, uh, I'm Alan Partridge, uh, series one, and I know this series uh, extremely well because uh, a, a long time ago I was very depressed and um, I actually lay on the sofa for probably about six months. Um, I mean, not not exclusively laying on the sofa. Obviously, I did go to bed and stuff and, and have a bath now and again. Uh, but I spent most of my days lying on the sofa watching Alan Partridge's Series 1 on DVD, so you can tell how long ago it was, uh, just over and over again. And there was something comforting about it um, that I, I, I guess, be really, because you laugh every uh, 30 seconds, every minute, of an Alan Partridge episode because it's just so brilliantly written and brilliantly performed. Anyway, I'm going to go through this. What I've done uh, for a bit of fun is I've tried to encapsulate Alan's um, uh, funny and annoying, uh, and it's all part of the same thing, uh, character traits into some brief descriptions and I'm going to annotate the whole video and uh, I'll talk a bit about that afterwards but for now let's dive right in. From Swaffham to Cromer on 106.5 and from Hensby on 106.9 this is Radio Norwich. Living room? Oh I like this, <laughs> yes. Certainly enough room to swing a cat in here, isn't there? Swing a tiger in here. <laughs> you could, couldn't you? Yes. Uh, wouldn't want to, though. Uh, Not unless it had been stunned. Uh, Even then, it's going to weigh the best part of a ton. Uh, um, do, do you like the room? Oh, it's very nice. So, look, 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 Lynn's not my wife. Oh. She's, she's, my, she's my PA. Hard worker, but uh, there's, there's no affection. <laughs> so, you'd be living alone? Uh, yes. In fact, you know, the best thing I ever did was getting thrown out by my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She's, uh, she's living with a fitness instructor. Yeah. Yeah, he drinks that uh, yellow stuff in tins. Mm. He's an idiot. <laughs> um, is there a neighbourhood watch? Sorry, I'm very close to uh. you. <laughs> is there a neighbourhood watch system? Uh, I think so, yeah. Right, well, I'll do my stint. Mm -hmm. I'd, uh, I'd want expenses, though. <laughs> and otherwise people start taking liberties. Before you know it, you're mowing their lawn. <laughs> Shall we uh, have a look at the rest of the house? Yep. Mm -hmm. One, one more question. I, I, on the way here, quite nearby, I did see a, a community centre with a mural on the side. School for the deaf. Right. Does that mean there will be noise or there won't be noise? <laughs> Difficult one to figure out, though. Uh. But they're, they're just deaf, they're not deaf offenders. They're just deaf. <laughs> 
Uh, not you, Link. Um, stay here. Uh, get on the phone. Pester Debenhams for uh, free lamps, free lampshades, or whatever you can blag on. <laughs> this is the kitchen, obviously. Oh, lovely. Has this kitchen been distressed? Yeah. <laughs> right. What's this? See. It's a cast iron egg tree, lacquered. Is that included? I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but I would like to know. <laughs> Everything you want, you want to keep here, it, it, it could be kept or not. Excellent. You know, option. You know, or replace it. Excellent. As you wish, certainly. What's this, uh, what's this little sink here? Uh, that's a rinser. Yeah, get rid of it. <laughs> uh, bathroom? You know what this room says to me? Aqua. Which is French for water. <laughs> It's like inside an enormous Fox's Glacier event. <laughs> Which, again, to me, is a bonus. Yes, oh. it's an extender. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. That, that, that is, that's the icing on the cake. You know, if, if King Arthur had had uh, an extender on his table... It would have been a different story, really. Well, it wouldn't have been round. No. <laughs> the kick-off. It's very Cluedo, this house, isn't it? Colonel Mustard in the ensuite bathroom with a lead pipe. Battered. I do like that toilet. Yeah. It's very futuristic, isn't it? Very sort mm. of uh, high-tech space age. Mm. Can you imagine, uh, imagine Buck Rogers taking a dump on that <laughs> in the 21st century? Yeah. Mind if I uh, have a go? Sure, hope so. Can <laughs> I have a go on the Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, yes. Prefer to go alone. Sure, sure. Oh. Most, most times, thanks. It flashed on the first yank. I love this house. Alan. One yank, gone. Alan, that was Tony Hare's his office on the phone. They put the meeting forward to 12.30 today. Wh when did you get this call? Three minutes ago. So why didn't you tell... What have you been doing for three minutes? You're on the toilet. Right, was I on that long? <laughs> It's in that area. <laughs> We're going to have to zip. Right, OK. Uh, one more question about the house. Um, petrol stations nearby? Shell, about a quarter of a mile. Right. Has it got a mini-mart? Mini-mart. Uh, Scaled-down supermarket fits inside a petrol station. <laughs> Sells pies, antifreeze. Yep, it's got one of those. In that case, you've got yourself a deal. I'll take the house. Well, uh, you're going to make an offer? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Um, uh, how much is it? It's on at 325000 Ooh. Uh, Will you take 324? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many bedrooms has it got? Five. Five. Mm. Oh, my five-bedroom bastard house. Mm. <laughs> right. Well, Lynn, let's uh, go off to the BBC. I'm going to be back on TV. I don't know if you... Uh... Did you used to watch my TV show? Oh, yes. You like it? I loved it. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> There you go. So, uh, classic partridge. Um, I, I actually wrote something down there because uh, I thought of a, another one, which is uh, petty one-upmanship uh, when he, he gets in front of, of Lynn to get to the door before her for, for some reason. Uh, so I've written down, I don't usually write stuff down, but I've written down a lot of stuff. Uh, inappropriate jokes is a big one and I'm, I'm really guilty of that. Um, and in fact, some of the worst embarrassments in my life have been caused by me either making an inappropriate joke or saying something that's a joke, but saying it in a serious way. And then people think you meant that. And then it becomes too late to say, no, I was joking. So you're sort of stuck with it. And I think Alan does that a lot. Uh, I've got, uh, well, obviously there's just the unnecessary comments and the uh, going on too long about something where he just can't stop himself um, carrying on the the uh, the point he's making. Um, so uh, I don't know how, how useful these uh, annotations are, uh, but uh, I enjoy doing it. And um, it, it, again, it, a bit of pedancy, a bit of, uh, you know, I love getting into details and trying to catalogue everything. Uh, much like Alan, I suppose. Um, so, oh, brilliant. And uh, that I think that's one of the first scenes in uh, series one of I'm Alan Partridge. And uh, I may well work my way through uh, more of them. 
So we shall see. And uh, thanks for watching. And don't nobody go nowhere. That's not Anne Robinson, is it? Jesus Christ. She's even got new tits. Get rid of it.